All right, so tonight we are gonna use mini bands and weights again, just like we did on Monday. Um, I am gonna use two different sets of weights. I have my 10s and my 15s ready to go. And then I have my bag of mini bands. I'll need some for upper body, some for lower body. So I just have a, a variety available. If you um, have more than one, that's great. If not, we can just work with what you've got. So I'll give some modifications for no mini bands as well. All right, good, let's go ahead and warm up. Uh, after the warm up, we are gonna do our holiday hustle countdown. Um, for today, all right, and I realized that on Monday we did the wrong day, and I apologize for that. So anyway, hopefully you fixed that on your calendar and you were able to still mark everything off. If you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, Holiday Hustle Countdown, you should have got it in your week one um, wrap-up email with a PDF. You could print it, and then you could cross off the days um, counting down to the end of the year so that you stay active and moving um, every single day, okay? So that is the goal. So we're going to start with high knees. So high knees in place, move your arms at the same time, please. Very good. And we're gonna turn these into kicks. So kick to the front, kick to the front. Just a little baby kick, so you don't have to pull a hamstring or anything. Good, keep your arms moving. And then go back to high knees. So these are just marching high knees to get us warm. And then right back into our kicks. You wanna kick with the heel, lean back just a little bit. Just a nice, you can go low, you can be high, whatever you want to do. And one more on each side. We're going to tap to the back. So little baby taps to the back. We're just waking up our calves. Your arms are going to change. We're going to push and pull. So punch forward, pull back. And every time you move, I want you to drop that heel a little bit lower to the ground. And then we're gonna turn up the heat. One leg only, knee repeater. So here we go. Reach and pull, knee repeater. Here's three, two, switch to the other side, knee repeater. And again, we're moving our whole body here. Three, two, right back into our taps to the back and our punches. So try not to bounce on the ball of your foot, but really, Press your heel down and back. And one more on each side. One leg knee repeater, so choose the side. We've got seven knee repeaters. Three, two, we're gonna switch sides and go again. Here's three, two, one, and done. All right, facing front, we're gonna squat down and then reach up. So squat down low and reach up. This is gonna turn into a squat and heel lift. So as you reach, lift your heels. My arms are getting cut off here. All right, keep going. And we are gonna add a little bit more to this. I'm gonna have you reach to one side, come up the middle, or reach to the other side, right up the middle. So take it at your own pace. Great job, one more time on each side. And moving on, we're gonna have a lateral squat. So you're gonna step out to the side, come together, switch sides, out, and come together. The key here with this one is that your butt is going down and back, your knees still track with your toes. Good job, one more on each side. And back to that regular squat with the wrap and the lift. Good job. Now, as you rotate, remember, it's not a huge rotation. You still want your hips and knees pointing forward the whole time. One more on each side. And we'll go back into those lateral stepping squats. So step side, together, side, together. Good job. You can even take your legs wider, get a little deeper, arm warm up those inner thighs. One more on each side. Very nice, and finally, we're gonna do some hinges. So to begin with, fingers behind your ears, hinge at your hips, and then reach up and down. So hinge and reach. Good job, waking up the back of the body. And last one, we're gonna take this into walk out. So hinge at your hips, walk all the way out to a plank, drop your hips to the ground, come up, walk back, and stand yourself up, let's do it again. Hinge, walk out, drop your hips, and walk back one more time. 
Should be heating up already. Ah, it feels good. And we'll revisit our hinges with the reach. So come back up to the top, fingers behind the ears, hinge, and press up and down. Just two more. Great job, great job. And last one here. And right back into the walkout. So take yourself down. Soften your elbows if you need to as you lift. And then take it on back. Good job. Let's do two more. Woo! And last one. And then we're going to heat everything up with our first Tabata, which is your holiday hustle countdown exercise of the day. So go ahead and jog on the spot or march on the spot, get a drink of water. I'll be right back. I have to make sure my lasagna is out of the oven. So hold on. I had this moment of fear that my lasagna was on broil for an hour or so. <laughs> and if you've never made the zucchini lasagna, I highly recommend it. All right. So anyways, here's what's happening. Skaters and tricep push-ups. So skaters look like this, low impact, take out the jump, use your arms for bigger movement, tricep push-ups, you're on the ground, elbows next to your ribs, just like that, or from your toes. Only 20 seconds, so go as hard as you can in each of these intervals. You've got four minutes on the clock. And let me get my timer set. We'll start with our skaters. So everybody up, get ready, get set. Go, side to side. So if you're not feeling warm yet and you need to take this low impact, keep your ankles, knees, everything safe, please do that. If you're ready to rock, you've gotta go big. Come on, three seconds left. And that's your timer right there. So this is 10 seconds to get down to the ground into your tricep push-ups. If you've already done this today, I apologize, kind of. But not really. So tricep push-ups. Grip the ground with your hands, please. You're gonna feel your triceps working hard tonight. A lot of tricep work. Good job. Let's do two more reps if we can. And done. Back up to your feet. If that up and down makes you dizzy, just go slow as you are transitioning. We start in two seconds. Skaters, ready? Let's go. Come on, skate side to side. Bracing the core, using your arms. Nice job, nice job. You should be feeling the intensity rising in your body. Time is up. Back down to the ground. Woo! All right. Getting ready, getting set. Try it on your toes. Remember, if you're doing these on your toes, your back is not swaying. You're just a solid plank moving up and down. Come on. You've got this five seconds to go. Ah. And time. Woo. All right. We've hit the halfway point. We're on that downhill slope. Skaters coming in two seconds. Let's go. And it feels good to move your arms after all those push ups, so make sure they're moving and swinging. Good job, good job. Come on, a little faster. You can do it. Three, two, one. Woo. We're going back down. Try some push ups. Your level of intensity, wherever you can hang out for 20 seconds. I want you to go there. Now, if you're not squeezing your butt and squeezing your abs, I want you to do that. Come on, tighten your whole body. And time is up. Woo. All right, let's see if we can do one more of each and then we'll be done, yep. So that means one more minute of work. Let's go. Come on, skaters, you're on. You're on. 
push yourself into your highest level of intensity where you can barely breathe. And time. All right, we're gonna finish up. I want you to pulse these push-ups. So stay in that working zone the whole time, 20 seconds, burn out, go. Come on, baby pulses. The arms never straighten. You can do this. Woo. Come on, give me three seconds more. Two, one, and done. You did it. Awesome job. So shake out your arms. Hopefully you're breathing hard at this point and you are ready to move on. Today, tonight, is the day that we build Christmas trees with boot camp exercises. So we're gonna start with, we're actually kind of doing reverse Christmas trees. They're inverted. But we're gonna start with 15 seconds, then 30, 45, 60 will be the top of our pyramid and then we'll ladder back down the other side. So you'll get a chance to do every exercise twice except for that long 60 second one, which you don't wanna do twice. So here we go. High knees is your first exercise. It'll be a 15 second recovery after each um, drill that we do. You will need your bands, um, and let's see here, you're gonna also need a dumbbell for these, this Christmas tree set, okay? So just keep that in mind. But first up, let me get my clock going here. First up is just high knees, 15 seconds. Let's go right here, come on. High knees, high knees, run around your space. 15 seconds, you wanna go hard. Good job, good job. Almost there, and time is up. So easy peasy, you're gonna grab an arm mini band. So kind of a lighter mini band for this next one. And um, you're gonna put it behind your back. So you're gonna hold on to your mini band behind your back, just like this, if you can see me, okay? You're gonna stretch it apart, pull it apart, and then you're gonna bend your elbows, okay? Bring the mini band to your back, and then press it out. Here we go. So this is tricep extensions, it's a pulling apart motion and uh, a push-pull, okay? So there's a lot of action happening in the arms here. If it's bothering your neck, tuck your chin in. Remember, this is a 30-second set. I'm just gonna kind of turn so you can see again what my arms are looking like here. Trying not to bend at the wrist too much. Whew, one more rep, you got this. And time is up. Whew. All right, set that mini band down. Like I said, you're gonna get a chance to do that again later. But first up, or next up, pulses with the lunges. We're gonna pulse lunge three, two, one. You're gonna step forward and switch. Three, two, one. Step forward and switch. This is a 45 second drill. Get ready, get set, here we go. Pulse it, three, two, one. Step and switch, three. Good, you want a lot of tension in those pulses, so try not to bounce. Okay, now if that feels pretty good for you and you want a little bit more, then here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna jump to switch. Three, two, one, jump to switch. Only if it's a good thing for your knees and ankles. Just brings a little more power, a little more plyo into this move. Think up with your jump. Woo, almost there guys. We've got 10 seconds to go. You're doing it, you're doing it. Come on, one more set. Three, two, one, and hold. Good, kick out your legs. Give them a little breather. Let me look at my notes here. All right, we have got banded squats. So put your medium to hard band on your legs, okay? And then you need one dumbbell, one dumbbell. Here's what's gonna happen. Leg lift to the side, squat in the center. Leg lift to the other side, squat in the center. Now notice that one dumbbell is going in front of my um, forehead, not over my head. So here we go. One minute on the clock. We squat, we lift and hold, squat. I want you to pause at the top. Good job. Now if you don't wanna go overhead, then notice my arms, you could just do 90-90, kind of a row and a push, okay? 
I want you to notice your core working in this drill. As you stand tall, your abdominals have to pull into support. That you are halfway. I want you to give yourself extra time at the top. So pause and then sink low. Good job. Yeah, we're trying not to lean. It's hard not to. You can do this. Whew. Almost there, guys. 10 seconds. Great work. I think we can get one more on each side. And time is up. All right. So set that weight down. Take off your band. You made it to the top of your first three. And now we're going back down. We've got our lunge pulses again. Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge pulse for three, two, one. Step forward, switch. Right? So just test it. And then when you're ready, you got to add that intensity by jumping to switch. You want to bring your heart rate up. You want to work hard tonight. It's your last boot camp workout of the week. Maybe, maybe you have a makeup to get in, but last time live. So push hard. All right, guys, we've got 10 seconds to go. Come on, what can you do? What can you do to go harder? You won't have to do these again tonight. Come on, one more rep. And there it is, done. Woo, legs are on fire, okay. We gotta pick up our light mini band for our arms. Remember, we go into our tricep kickbacks. So we roll our shoulders back and around. We pull our band apart, ready, set, and we bend and push. Bend and push. Good, so you wanna keep your hands a little higher and spread them apart. Good work, good work. Now, we wanna be mindful that our elbows aren't locking. As we push back, we keep a slight bend back there. Good, let's go for five seconds more, and then we'll cancel this one out. And that'll do it, time's up. Whew. Set your mini band down now. We finish off this Christmas tree with 15 seconds of high knees. So get ready, get set, let's go. Come on, high knees, high knees, high knees. Get them up. In three, two, one. That is it right there. Good job. Oh, that's a loud, <laughs> that's a loud timer. Okay, so quick drink of water. We're gonna rest and recover for about 30 seconds and then we'll hit the next one. So we've got five Christmas trees tonight. All right, that's what you have to look forward to. Then we're gonna follow it up with some awesome band core training. All right, so your first exercise, jack touchdowns, all right? So we squat down and take one hand to the ground, come up in the middle and do it again to the other side, up the middle. Modification is squat, side to side, just like the warm up, and touch the ground. So 15 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, let's begin. Touchdown, come overhead. So again, mindful of your knees. They point forward, they don't lean and drop, okay? Keep them wide. One more, and done. Easy peasy. Pick those legs up, catch your breath. Whew. All right, coming your way. Reverse plank or tabletop. So here's what it looks like. If you're doing a reverse plank, your hands are fanned out, your shoulders are pulled back, and you're gonna lift your hips. You can modify by having one knee bent, or you can have both legs bent, and you're more of a tabletop. It's 30 seconds on the clock. And here we go. So if you're in that straight leg position, point your toes for me and just look up and keep your shoulder blades together. Whew. If it gets to be too intense, just bend a knee or bend both knees. There's nothing wrong with that. We want to stay safe in our joints. We want to squeeze our abdominals. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on. You've only got five seconds left right here. You can do it. Can you get your butt higher? And time is up. Whew. All right, shake out those arms. Hopefully you felt that in the back of your body. 
We've got our 45 second drill next. It is a squat thrust with a row. So I'm gonna grab my 10 pound dumbbell, it's my lighter set. I'm gonna squat down to the ground, kick my legs back and do a plank, row one on each side, and then come back into a squat and stand up. My weights don't go overhead on this one. All right, so if you wanna do a walking version, you walk, you row on each side, and then you come in and you rise. Here we go. This is a 45 second drill, so get ready. Get set. Here we go, squat down, back, row on each side without rotating. Squat in, drive through the heels to rise. We wanna use our glutes to come out of this movement, not our backs. Good job, good job. You can even go to your knees to be able to get these rows in. Perfect. Come on. We have only got 10 seconds left. Should be heating up. And let's finish this off, our last rep. And everybody rise, and you're done. Whew. All right, set it down. All right, moving into that final move. This one is gonna be bilateral. So we're gonna split it 30 and 30, okay? So you just need your body, nothing else. Here's what I need from you. I want your left leg extended back behind you and right fingertips behind the ear, all right? We're gonna just do a little twist, dropping your elbow down, coming back out to flat back, arm completely extended, I'm sorry, elbow extended, and then we'll do that again. If you need to modify that, tap your toe to the ground, all right? Here we go. And three, two, one, and begin. So we rotate down, we balance, we come back up, hold. So we wanna do this without rotating our hips. So our, our hip bones get a point down to the ground, even as we're twisting in the upper body. Good job. So again, modifier is to keep your toe on the ground, like a kickstand if you want. And time's up on that side. Let's switch to the other side quickly. Extend the leg and bring it down and rise. And remember, it's a twist around the rib cage. It's not a flapping of our elbow. It's a really great core exercise, balance exercise. You are almost there. We've got 10 seconds to go. Can you straighten out that back leg even more? And finishing up, last rep right here, and done. All right, so going right back after that squat thrust with the rows, again, we're gonna heat it back up. So you've got five seconds until we begin again. So get ready with those weights. Here we go, three, two, one, squat down, back to a plank, row one on each side, and feet in. We stand, come on again, come back. Ah. And again, you can do this without weight if you would like that. Nice work, nice work. We've got 20 seconds to go. All right, we're in that final countdown, 10 seconds. I bet we can get two more of these. Come on, push yourself. You can do it, finish strong. Ah, and time is up. All right, weights come down. Whew. 30 second interval is our reverse plank or tabletop, whichever one you're choosing to do. We go in five seconds. Get ready, get that, and up we go. So shoulder blades together. It means you're feeling a stretch in the front of your shoulders. And if your booty's dropping a little bit, lift it up. Come on, you can do this. You might even start feeling your hamstrings cramp up a little bit. That means you're doing the right thing. Five seconds, come on, we can do this. And time, Woo. All right, final set is our jack touchdown. So get back up, okay? 
Get back up, get ready to go. In three, two, one, here we go. Get down, right here, jack touchdowns. Drop your backside. Looks like this from the side, not like this. See the difference? Drop it. And done, woo! Good job. What's that really annoying <laughs> bell right there? Okay, get a drink. Moving on to Pyramid 3, or Christmas Tree 3, I should say. Whew. All right, so we're gonna do jumping jacks first, and then we're gonna move into a push-up set for our 30 second draw. So regular jumping jacks. I know we just did touchdowns. These ones are gonna feel a little bit better. 15 seconds on the clock. Let's get ready here. In three, two, one, and begin. Whoop. Jumping jacks, go. Come on, regular jacks. Regular jacks. You got this. Make sure those heels are touching down. In three, two, and time. All right, so you guys can watch if you want to for a moment. Here's what's next. You're gonna be on your knees or toes in push-up position. You got one push-up and one downward facing dog or one push-up and a child's pose. Ready? Get into position, please. Let's go. One push-up and down dog. This is your 30 second set. Those push-ups, your elbows are pushing out to 45 degree angles, not 90. Come on, grip the floor with your hands. If you tend to rock onto your baby fingers, grip with your thumb and forefinger. And that's your last one, right there. And done, Whew. shake it out, rotate your wrist a little bit. And let's start thinking about that next thing, halos and ribbon, okay? So we're gonna start with halos and we'll go to a ribbon. So I'm gonna use my 10 pound one weight only for this. It looks like this, so. We start with our weight right out in front of us, 90 degree bend in the elbows. We go around the back of our head, we stop. We switch directions and we stop. Now my hips aren't moving. To make it more challenging, you got a ribbon where you come to the side, all the way back and around, come to the side and back and around. So here we go. Let's begin in three, two, one, your choice. Okay, the halo is gonna be a little gentler on the back. And the ribbon is gonna be a little bit more full body, okay? And you really gotta engage your core so you're not twisting through your mid back. Good job. Really reach your weight behind your head. Good job, good job. We have got 15 seconds to go, come on. Great shoulder mobility, you know this. And time is up right there. All right, shrug your shoulders a little bit. Whew. Sometimes that gets into our neck and we wanna make sure we rotate our neck side to side. Up next, okay, we've got bent over rows with weights. So you're gonna row for four times, then you're gonna stand up and you're gonna curl for four times. It's a big set, lots of upper body and back work happening here. So let's get ready, pick up your weights and here we go. Three, two, one, and you're off. So bent over. It's four, three, two, one. Stand up. Four, three, two, one. Bend back over. Four, three, two, control. And up we go. Four. So that's all it is. You go as slow as you want to, but don't go fast. You want to feel the control? on the up and the down. Woo! All right, you're halfway there. Start pulling a little harder in these rows. Good work, good work. Final countdown, 15 seconds. You could do it. Good, those pulling muscles should be getting a little bit tired. Come on, let's finish up this last set. And right back up again, four, three, two, and done. All right, set the weights down. Woo, push your hands out to the side. 
wiggle your fingers a little bit and let's get back into our halos oh no let's see here yeah sorry halos and ribbons so one weight only we've got 45 seconds here we go your choice halo or ribbon this set tends to be a little more upper body intensive sorry if that's giving you any trouble but there are lots of modifications you can even do halos without weight or very lightweight or even a mini band you can hold on to a mini band and that will give you some resistance too come on can you get a little bit bigger rotation without turning your hips right give it a try and let's get one more on each side moving right on down this christmas tree and time is up Woo! all right weight goes down move your body side to side give yourself a little stretch during this break i don't want our backs to get all locked up and feel tight so push-ups and down dogs are next you're in your 30 second bracket so let's get ready here three two one and begin push up and down dog Good. Remember that core so tight, just like those planks that we did on Monday. Nice work, nice work. Come on, 10 seconds to go. And we've got two push ups left. I know you can do one more. And time is up. Woo. All right, shake it out, guys, shake it out. All right, we're gonna do, go back to standing position. We're gonna finish with our jumping jacks here in three, two, one, let's go. Jack it out, heels to the ground. You can go faster if you want to. Come on, come on, come on, three, and two, and one, and done. Woo. We made it. All right, get another quick drink. How are we doing on time? Whew, we're doing perfect, all right. So we've got our fourth Christmas tree, and this one is not gonna start with cardio, okay? We're gonna give it a little rest. Tin man, so arms wide. We're gonna reach across our midline, and then come back to center, reach. Always come back to center, please. Feel that great core exercise for 15 seconds. Following that, we are gonna take a band, and I'm gonna use a, an arm weighted band behind our back, okay? And then you're gonna push your arms, this might even be too tight, we'll see. We're gonna push our arms forward and then pull slowly back, okay? So if you can't, if you can't extend your arms, your band might be too tight. Right? I might need to change bands a little bit here. Um, but that is the goal, those are the first two exercises. So, 10 man first, and then, We'll go into that chest press. So 10 men for 15 seconds. Good, pause nice and wide. Great job. Remember, we're trying not to bend at our waist, but just twist. And one more time, and you're done. All right, so take your band. Again, put it behind your back, grab a hold of it. You're gonna push forward. Pull slowly back. It's more like a resistance back. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Push. It almost feels like you're going to break your band, right? Good job. And these, these hands, right, when you're punching with those fists, right about rib level, lower rib, lower rib level. Nothing high. Keeping the tension out of our back, our neck. Good job. And let's do one more here. Come on, push and pull it on back and done. All right, set that mini band down. Coming up next, guys, 45 seconds of curtsy lunges. Now, if you wanna hold a dumbbell or hold two dumbbells, you can do curtsy lunges with weight right here in front of you if you want to, okay? So, you're into that, go for it. Let's do this for 45 seconds. So, holding that weight. And we're off. Make sure your space is safe. I feel like I'm gonna step on all my stuff. You guys keep going. Right, like I said, I'm in my new space down here. And I don't know where my boundaries are like I do in my normal area. So 
So the key here with this is that if you are gonna twist at all, it is towards your front leg. So you're closing up your body, not opening up your body. Good job. Feel both legs bending. Almost there. Let's get one more rep in. You can do it. And time is up. Whew. Set that weight down. Take a quick breather. And up next, burpees with weights. So, kind of similar to the squat thrust that we did, but this time the weights are going to go overhead, all right? I'm going to use my 10 pounders for this one. So, here's what it looks like we come down to the ground. We've got a push up, knees or toes push up. We come in, weights stay close, we power them to the top, and then we do it again. It's a one minute drill, guys. And you can do any variation of that that you want to. You can do it without weights, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and begin. So get that push up, and then drive your weights up high. And if going overhead doesn't work, you just stand tall, just like we did with the squat thrust, just like this, that's great. Come on. You are halfway right here, which doesn't mean you stop. It means you dig in a little deeper to finish at your max effort. Woo! Come on, you got this 20 seconds. Let's do it. How many can you do in 20 seconds? You should be breathing hard. Should be hard to talk. Whew. Last breath. Come on, five seconds. Let's do it. And done. Oh, we did it. All right, shake out. Take your arms behind. Lift up a little bit, especially if you were doing those push ups. It gets a little tense on the shoulders, I know. But every once in a while, we gotta throw those babies in. All right, here we go. Back to our curtsy lunges. With your weight, if you're using them. And we're off. Remember, you twist towards your front leg. Good job. Hold tight to that weight. You're gonna feel your core, especially if you're using a heavy weight. Woo! You take this slow and steady. Doing awesome. Now keep your eyes forward. Sometimes we tend to look down. When we do this, we want our eyes forward. Can you hang on to this for 10 more seconds? Yup. You gotta tell yourself you're gonna finish every rep. One more rep right here. And you made it. Woo! That was a hard one. All right, coming away, 30 seconds. What do we got here? Our band. So we grab that light band again. We put it behind our back. And we've got our chest presses. Now, something I want you to think about. When you pull your elbows back, pinch your shoulder blades together in the back for a moment, all right? Here we go, nice and slow. Push forward, pull back with control, and do it again. Good job. We wanna keep our chin pulled in, so our neck stay in a great position. Good job, 10 seconds to go. Woo! Me one more rep just like that. Come on. Oh, it feels great. And time is up. All right. So we're going to finish off this set with our Tin Man. You've got about eight seconds here to just shake out. Arms are going to go wide. You know it. Hold on. Wait for it. Timer's going in just a moment. Three, two, one, and here we go. Come on. Sometimes Tin Man, it just, when you're already tired, it's Super hard to hold those arms out to the side, isn't it? One more rep and done. You made it. Whew. All right. Take a breather. Final round. Now, we're going to do side to side. So lateral hop side to side. Okay. This is kind of like in a skier fashion. And then I'm going to use my heavy dumbbells for deadlifts. All right. I hope you will too. Go heavy. Then we'll bring back some snatches, some single arm snatches this time. And then, um, 
we'll do some other jumping movements here for that minute drill. So, up first, ski hop side to side, looks like this. Side to side hops or little um, staggered hops if you want that instead. All right, here we go. Begin, side to side. So brace the core, okay? Land soft in your heels. Only 15 seconds. Good job, three, two, and time. All right, heavy weights. Up next is your deadlift. Slow down, quick up. Okay, or you can use light weights, your choice. 30 seconds on the clock, here we go. Shoulders roll back and slow it down. Come up quick. So we really try to stop our weights right about our kneecaps or below. Unless you've got extremely short legs, then you might find yourself going to the ground. Woo! Feels good to work those hamstrings instead of the quads, right? Almost there, give me five more seconds. And time is up, right there. All right, so just like we did on Monday, if you were in camp, we had snatches, all right? When you practice them with a light weight, real quick, okay, shoulders are rolled back. We're gonna hinge at our hips, okay? The palm is facing your body. It's gonna keep facing your body until you power it up and it's now facing forward. We push back down into our hinge, and we throw that weight straight up. So it's not a, it's not a clean and press, okay? It's just up, press, okay? It's like a zipper, up, straight back down. Single arms will hold both of your weights. You're gonna alternate back and forth, all right? Here we go, 45 seconds on the clock. Get ready, get set. We hinge and bring it up. It's all about the hips and the locking of the shoulder at the top. You also want to think about that control of the weight right back down to get to your hinge. So if this round feels a little easy with your weights and you have heavier weights, I want you to try it on the next round. A little snappier, thrust your hips forward. Come on. Squeeze your butt. We've got 10 seconds left right here. And last rep, done. Woo. All right, let's see what that final minute of work looks like. Where are we at here? All right, so five heel lifts. So you're gonna stand in place. You know, five heel lifts, all right? And then you're gonna do five volleyball jumps, all right? So if you choose not to jump, you're gonna swing your arms and power up high, just like you're jumping, but you're not leaving the ground. Five and five, alternating for one minute. Get ready and get set. Let's get after it here and go. So five, four, three, two, one. Add those jumps. Five, four, three, two. Same thing over and over. Five, four. Use your calves. Woo! Keep it coming. Remember that low impact option if you need it. Take out the jump and just add power. A little mini squat at the bottom, right? If you don't want to jump today. Okay, you're in the final countdown. 15 seconds to go. Come on, you've got to push a little harder till the end. Ah. Jump higher. I'm gonna try to touch your ceiling. Here it comes. Two seconds to go. Done. Whew. Kick your heels out. That burns a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, shall we move on? Snatches. Now the challenge was, if that first round was too easy, get your heavier weights. So, I'm gonna try my heavy ones. And get ready, we got 45 seconds. We have to hinge, and then we push. Control back down. You might find you have to go slower on the way back down, that's okay. Anytime you lift heavier, your core 
Better be tighter. Better be more engaged as you're throwing this weight around. Come on, we can do this. 15 seconds. Up. Let's get one more rep on each side, shall we? And time is up. Set your weights down. All right, we're in our 30 second set. We've got our deadlifts. We're going heavy, as heavy as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. Get ready, set. Here we go. Slow down, quick up. Pull your chin in. This is our last Christmas tree of the night. And then we're gonna rock the minivan till the end, okay? That is our plan. And we are cruising through our time. We've only got 15 minutes of class left. Time is up. Set your weights down. All right, final move. After this recovery is your side to side ski hops, all right? So your options, stagger or jump. Three, two, one, let's go, right here. Side to side. Come on. There we go. Land soft. Come on, five seconds to go. Woo! And done, you did it. All right, kick your heels up. Give yourself a little recovery. All right, so we need to start talking mini bands for this next round, okay? We're gonna start standing and you're gonna need an upper body mini band. So um, lighter is probably better, right? But you can see how it goes. Hopefully we're gonna get through this set twice. We may just get through it once, we'll see. All right, so you're gonna start with your arms up. And you're gonna pull your mini band apart, okay? We're gonna pull one arm down in a lap pull and then press it back up and do the other arm, keeping tension on the band at the top. Now, what we're gonna add to this is a nice deep squat. So our knees are gonna be pointed out to the side. As we pull down, we're gonna squat and press our other arm up and then come back to standing and slow down and press. All right, 30 seconds. That's all you've got, 30 second intervals. And we're gonna do some superset actions, which means we will um, do another exercise in between and come right back to this. So here we go. Slow, slow and controlled. We've been moving kind of fast. They want you to slow it down. You can even think three or four counts to melt down, three or four counts to come up. Take that time under tension and use it. Good, you should be pushing with your straight arm. Good work, good work. And our time is almost up. Great job, and done. All right, we're gonna pause for a second. You can put that same mini band underneath the arches of your feet. Now again, if this is too light, next time we do it, you can do a heavier one, but you're gonna lift one knee up, pause, slowly set it down, lift the other knee up, pause, and slowly set it down. Here we go. So slow, slow, slow. Pull, 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 hold at the top. Slowly set it back down. That's the trick here. And again, four, three, two, hold. Slowly set it back down. Feel your stabilizers having to work hard. I might go a little heavier on the next time I do this. So if that's what you're thinking too, that's okay. And slowly set that leg down. Pick up your mini band into your hands again. We'll go back to that squat drill and the lat pull down. So get ready. And here we go. So even though these exercises are slow, we are gonna cruise through and not take very long breaks. Good. Think about your shoulder blade pulling in and down in your back. Good job. Good, can you pull your band further apart from each other? At the top of that movement, really pull it apart. And time is up. And we're gonna switch to that same exercise again. I, like I said, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier as we put it underneath our feet. If that's you, feel free to do that as well. I'll wait for you, ready? And here we go, slow up. You might wanna flex your foot, especially if you got a 
Higher resistance. Slow back down. And switch. Good, good, good. Woo. Now feel your stabilizing foot. It might want to rock a little bit, but try to plant your big toe. Grip the floor a little bit. Good job. You've got it. All right, this is it, our last one. Last one right there. Slowly set it down. Awesome work. All right, moving along into our next set. We're gonna take ourselves into a plank. So you're gonna band up your forearms. I would go with that, kind of maybe that same band you just used. <clears throat> and we're gonna do some lateral walking with our arms. So we're gonna start in a plank position. Okay, you can see me here. And you're gonna take your hands out, out. I'm sorry, I messed up. You're gonna go out, in, and then out to the other side and back in. So that can be done on your knees or on your toes. It's 30 seconds, you're ready, and let's go. So tap the hand out to the side and back in and switch out and in. Maybe it's just like your fingertips are reaching, but you should feel the tug in the core because your body wants to rotate, but you're not gonna let that happen. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. And last one, and done. Woo. All right, put this mini band on the bottoms of your feet, okay? Just like that. And you're gonna start with your knees at hip distance. Now here's what's gonna happen. Your arms are going to be up over your midsection, and the same arm and leg are gonna move. So if you're pushing your right arm back, your right leg goes out, and then slowly bring it up, and then we're gonna switch. Sometimes it's mind over matter here, right? All right, here we go. So right leg, right arm, stretch. Keep tension on the band in the middle, and now left. Slow and steady. Good, you should feel your hips working hard to keep your legs apart. Nice work. You're almost there. We can get one more on each side. Make sure both feet are flexing. And that'll do it right there. And in. All right, take your band. Put it back around your forearms and go back to that plank move again. Woo. All right, so forearms are banded. Get ready, plank position. And you reach to the side and then center. And to the side. If you take your feet wider, it does help you from rocking. So that is an option if you need it. Come on, you can do this. Give me 10 more seconds. Just slow things down if you need to. And time is up. Woo. All right, back to the ground. Now this might be our last move, okay? So, put the band back on your feet. We'll see, we might be able to sneak one more in there. All right, three, two, one. Arms up, right arm, right leg, slow back in. Good job. Let your head and neck just relax on the ground. Good, are you still pulling your feet apart? Keeping your hips engaged? Almost there, almost there. And time is up, all right. So we are gonna take these last five minutes to cool down and recover, all right? So we're gonna do some wall stretches tonight, just taking advantage of the walls in the room. So if you wanna to come to a standing position, first thing I'm gonna have you guys do is just stretch out those shoulders. So. Take a hand to the wall, okay? And I want you to just rotate away from the wall. So you can even take your, your forearm to the wall if that's a little bit better, but even just the hand, and then just rotate away. Ooh, that feels good. And let's try it on the other side. So hand or forearm to the wall, and then you're just rotating away. All those push-ups, planks, oh, they feel good. Snatches even. Get that released. Great job. Now I'm going to turn my backside to you for a minute, but you're going to enjoy this stretch. So take your hands to the wall. I want you to 
Set your feet underneath your hips. Drop your chest, okay, kind of below um, the line of your shoulders and bicep. And keep your chin pulled in. You're gonna feel a nice back release. And if you can, I want you to tilt your hips up so you get a nice natural curve in the low back. Great job. All right, moving on. So we did a lot of calf work tonight. We're gonna to take our toes to the wall. I don't know if you can see my toes. Toes are gonna to go to the wall. Then you're just gonna lean into the wall like you're listening into the wall, okay? So lean in, nice calf release there. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Toes to the wall. And if you don't have a wall, you can even, you know, you can use a chair, you can use a couch, you can put your foot even just up on your weights. I'm guessing you're all inside, so probably have some walls around you. All right, awesome job. Next thing you're gonna do, okay, if you have, hopefully have some open wall space. If you don't have open wall space, you can do this standing as well. But you're gonna come up against the wall, okay? As much as you can, heels to the wall, shoulders to the wall, right? And then you're gonna reach your arms up. If you can't get, if you can't stay this close to the wall and lift your arms up, then just move a little bit away. I want you to drag your elbows down, keeping your back and head to the wall. Okay, try to keep your butt to the wall and then lift back up again. Woo! And maybe you need to do one arm at a time instead of both, that's okay. Just some wall slides here. You can separate your feet, that helps a little bit. Great job. All right, we're gonna use that wall for balance now and take one leg up behind. Woo! We never use it for balance, do we? So if you don't want to use it for balance, you don't have to. You can reach your arm up, but it is there if you need it. And we're gonna swing this leg forward, sit down into a figure four, flexing our top foot, put the heels of the hands together. And I want you to press the heels of your hands, unless you're using the wall, of course. And from here, this top leg is just gonna slide down to the floor and you're gonna hinge. While you're here, I want you to reach your arms up, keeping your back flat, and then swing them back behind you. And do it again, reach them up. And swing them back. And then we'll rise all the way up and we'll switch to the other side. So do that other quad, give it a nice stretch. And again, reach your arm up if you want to. And cross your leg over, figure four, just melt into it there. Heels of the hands press together. We're gonna keep our chest up. Sometimes we tend to curl into our body, but keep looking up here. And then we'll take the top leg, cross it over, hinge forward. Good, and again, reach your arms out as far as you can. And then back. We're working that extension in the shoulders, right? And that flexibility that sometimes we lose when we sit a lot. On this next one, come all the way up and circle your arms back and around and let's lunge over to the side. So take your arm, reach it down towards your bent leg and switch to the other side and hold. So I'd love to hear what you guys worked on for your goals today. Your, hopefully you didn't forget about them. Take your hips high in the middle and bend your knees and just roll it slowly up. My goal is kind of ongoing. I'm just trying to keep the sugar out of my diet unless it's like, like just an awesome, intense, fun, you know, way to, to spend that. <laughs> so, or if it's like, you know, like last night, I, my friend has these like amazing treats that she always makes for Christmas. I mean, I just have to have one. So anyways, so that's what I'm trying to do. So today, clean, simple, uh, normal eating, and then, you know, saving those indulgences for when they really matter. So I'd love to hear what you guys are working on today. Um, if you want to share, you can.